did, we bought an RV. And we are gonna video it so we know what to do. It'll be very exciting today. So we're gonna get Ferdinand all set up. They're gonna put a weight distribution hitch on him and we're gonna get the trailer down to the ranch. Hey, it's Nicole with Changes in Altitude. It is a rattlesnake. trailer brakes to slow you down as you're coming down the mountain you just squeeze the trailer brakes to slow you down instead of using the car the motorhome's in a bind right now woof little safety tabs on the bottom we had to get a drop down hitch so the hitch, the regular hitch for the Suburban did not work for this truck. So we did have to go ahead and purchase a $150 drop down hitch. So they're installing that right now. I'll go show you what that, what that looks like. So what he's doing right now is he's bringing the trailer up to the hitch height. So when we back up, it can drop on the ball. Muscle required. Okay. So to put these bars on, it's pretty simple. You're gonna take it to where your rough part, rough surface is down. Okay. Because that's what rides right here. Gotcha. All you're gonna do is just take the bottom in first, and then the top goes in like that and locks it. This is th this little tab right here is what you're gonna what pushes up and and then it falls down. To take these off, you're gonna push this up and you're gonna rotate it out, okay. and then it just comes right out. Okay. Not every time I'm frustrated trying to do that. It's because you're on your phone. You shouldn't be on your phone when you do this stuff. Definitely not. <laughs> Like I said, once I get this set, you guys won't have to mess with it again unless you switch vehicles. Okay, cool. You're gonna go right down the hole, and all you're gonna do is just snap it in. Oh, that's what those guys are doing with that thing? I never knew that's what they were doing with that thing. Underneath yep. Okay, perfect. Oh, that's good. right there. Excellent. All right. Come on. Always keep this in your camper. Okay. Because she's going to send you into the woods to go and get more blocks so you can get those bars on and on. Gotcha. So always keep this in your camper. Okay. All right, sounds good. It's in that trailer on the other side. You always want to cross them. Okay. And that, so you just put them on. This is your breakaway cable. <laughs> you can see that all of this portion and your camper, it's all pretty much level. Right there, uh -huh. and it says gain zero. Uh huh. That means you have no output. When you step on the brake, it is not sending nothing back to, to the brakes. Okay. We're going to bump that up. It goes in five, 0.5 increments. I'm going to do this about 4.0 for right now. When you get your truck loaded up and your camper loaded up, everything else, you're getting ready to go camping. Yep. On flat, dry surface, let off on the gas, you're going to push that over. 
You're gonna see if that thing pushes you forward, you need to bump it up. Okay. If it pulls you back, you know you just got it set too high. Because okay. it's locking the brakes up back there. Gotcha. You want a nice, steady, gradual slowdown. Okay, well let's get heading down because we gotta get kids from school. Awesome. <laughs> but if you use the trailer brakes to slow you down as you're coming down the mountain, you just squeeze the trailer brakes to slow you down instead of using the car's brakes. So I'm not even using my brakes. You, you won't have to use your brakes as often. You know, if you really need to slow down, you need to use them. But if you just use this, you can use just the trailer to slow you down, which is a lot safer and easier on the car. Okay, cool. Wheel chocks in place, and we are just about to unhitch the Suburban. Power on, or I guess that's the light, and then push down. Remember to raise the Suburban up to get your tracking, traction bars up. Okay. And he said about 27, 28 inches up. Does it, do you measure it every time, well, whenever, or do you just? Whenever they come free. Oh, okay. Right. Okay, I see. Okay. Okay, now we're gonna lower it back down. It in. Okay. How will YouTube know what to do if they don't have their very own Josh? <laughs> right? <laughs> so one of the problems is, is so the motorhome's in a bind right now so it's pushing up against the hitch and it's trying to move okay. so we need to separate the two. Woof! Now we know it's not moving anywhere. Okay. It's solid. Disconnect your power harness. Safety chains. This cable right here is the emergency the brake. brake. Yeah. If it comes disconnected. That's all done. That's done. Okay. goes back in the door too. Okay. 